Welcome into Sunday Sermon, uh, where we uh, read from the United Independent Compensatory Code System concept, a, uh, a uh, compensatory counter-racist code by Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. This happens to be, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr., this happens to be the 2016 edition, uh, which is a revised and uh, an expanded edition. And uh, remember, this is a textbook work for thought, speech, and or action for victims of racism, which Miss Neely Fuller Jr. defines as uh, white supremacy. So if you're not a victim, then this is this is not the tome for you. Okay, so um, we're going to deal with the there are nine areas of activity that Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. has has identified uh, in, in 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 his writings, and the area we're going to deal with. Today is uh, the area of uh, of sex, um, and uh, well, just just so you know, there are nine areas of human activity. As Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. was saying, that would be economics, education, entertainment, labor, law, uh, politics, religion, sex, and war, counter war. Now, when Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. Uh, speaks on these matters uh, every Tuesday, he, he from uh, about the, I think it's nine a.m. to eleven a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, he speaks on these matters. Um, but he doesn't speak on the air of war, counter war, uh, uh, just so you know. Right. Everybody has their, their way of dealing. It's just the way Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. deals. So let's go uh, right to it on page uh, uh, 326, page 326 of the County Rachel's Code book here. Uh, Mr. Neely Fuller Jr. Uh, deals now, just to let you know, See, the, the questions he asks are in bold, and then the answers are in a lighter type. Now, this one has a particularly long uh, long answer, so let's get to it. People have, and this is, oops, let's say this is page uh, 326. People have or done many things in the name of what uh, they said was love. Love is in quotes here. People have killed people in well, that, that That's the observation. And then uh, Mr. Neely Fully Jr. goes on with an answer or his, his reflection on it. As people have killed people whom they said they loved. People have kept other people from speaking or acting constructively in the name of love. Males have unjustly subjugated females in the name of love. People have committed crimes in the name of love. Sexual intercourse has oft times been referred to as making love. People have lied in the name of love. Therefore, to compensate for the confusion that has resulted from such use, it is best for each person to give the word a meaning that is specific and constructive. Only by eliminating falsehood, non-justice, and incorrectness from the known universe can love be produced. Hmm. I have an, I have an answer for uh, the definition of love, but let me go. So he has a note here, by the way, uh, under what we, we just read. According to compensatory logic, love without justice, justice is defined as the balance between people does not exist. Love and justice function as one and the same. They are the same. To do justice means to guarantee that no person is mistreated and to guarantee that the person who needs help the most gets the most constructive help. That's from Mr. Neil Fuller Jr. This, I think when he says, uh, Define love. Now, this is interesting because uh, when I was in graduate school uh, the first time back in the uh, late 70s, uh, we had a, our classes were pretty small, the, well, the graduate program for, uh, for play well, for theater, for playwriting. Um, and they put all of the playwrights and, uh, and, uh, and, the, and the directors together. I think it was just the playwrights and this, no, the directors together. Um, and they, and, the, and, the, and the, the instructor, the, the, you know, the lecturer had a question for all us sitting around the table. He says, what is love? 
Um, so they all went around. I happened to be sitting right on her, her left side, so I was the last person to go. And this one always stayed with me. So everybody's giving their little definition. I don't even remember what they were. Now, remember, I came from the projects, right? I came from the hood, if you would. And so mostly people in these classes were like middle class, you know, whatever. That's what happens in these kind of situations. And so when it came to me, I said, well, you know, where I come from, you know, we don't be talking about love. Or, well, we don't do it like that. Um, I said, in our circumstance, remember, this is the late 70s. I hear this a lot now, especially in, the, in football, you know, circumstances and stuff like that, especially when you have a lot of black people around. And in our circumstance, we don't say, I love you, something like that. We say, I got your back. I got your back. That's very interesting. Just listen, listen to that. I got your back. No matter what, I got your back. And so that's what it is. People, people say, oh, I love you. I love you. Ah, well, define love. Yeah. Yeah. I'll do anything for you. Blah, blah, blah. Well, that's good. But I got your back is very specific. No matter what, I got your back. So for me, uh, T from the Patterson's taking the train to Tibet. Love means I got your back. 